بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وی آر ڈسکسنگ امبر آئی آف دی برین ویئر وی کین سی ڈائلیٹڈ لیٹرل وینٹریکل سملرلی تھرڈ وینٹریکل از آلسو سگنیفیکنٹلی ڈائلیٹڈ اینڈ ان دیر از ایریا آف گلائیوٹک چینجز ان رائٹ پرائٹ لوب پوسٹیرلی most probably because of old ischemic insult in the distribution of the right MCA here you can see gliotic area here we see brain stem fourth ventricle size of the fourth ventricle is normal cerebellum vermis CP angles seventh eight nerve complexes are unremarkable and we see mild inflammatory changes in mastoid ASL on both sides especially on left side inflammatory changes are also appreciated in sphenoid air cells eyeballs and extra ocular muscles are unremarkable let's see sagittal images here we can see significantly dilated lateral ventricles and area of gliotic changes because of old ischemic insult now let's see there is normal appearing fourth ventricle but stenosis is noted in lower portion of the cerebral aqueduct we can see third ventricle is dilated and lateral ventricle is dilated so this obstructive hydrocephalus is because of stenosis in lower portion of cerebral aqueduct so in this case csf flow would be through the floor of third ventricle into interpeduncular and prepontine cistern aqueductal stenosis are usually congenital in nature but it can be because of tectal plate growth or tectal plate gliomas or pineal body tumors or because of meningitis so in this case we have seen this is congenital stenosis leading to obstructive changes and dilatation of lateral as well as third ventricle thank you very much assalamu alaikum warahmatullah